One night, a little old woman gathered together a handful of beans for dinner. To make the coals in her fireplace burn brightly, she tossed a bundle of straw on them. Then she put the beans in a pot to simmer. But one of the beans dropped out of her hand. One of the straws slid out of the bundle, and one of the coals rolled out of the fire. And all three lay together on the hearth, watching sadly while their comrades cooked. Said the straw in a reedy voice, It's pleasant to escape the flames, but as you fellas saw, my relatives went up in smoke, and I'm the, well, last straw. And the bean bubbled. Well, as for me, I'm glad to be in this delightful spot, or here or there or anywhere before I go to pot. And the coal hissed. So nice to meet you, gentlemen. Most pleasant and all that. But don't you think that we could find a cooler place to chat? They all agreed. And the three of them went off together. By and by, they came to a little brook that had no bridge and sputtered the coal. I'd like to roam the world with you, but there is just no doubt. If I go into that water, it will promptly put me out. And the bean added, And I don't dare to get all wet by going in the brook. For as you know, we beans are soaked before we set to cook. But the straw said eagerly, Fear not, O bean, and you, friend Cole. There is a way, you see. I'll stretch myself from shore to shore, and you can cross on me. And the straw stretched himself across the stream, just like a tiny bridge. The coal was the first to use the straw bridge. He started out bravely enough, but halfway over he looked down at the water, shuddered, and stopped. And at the place where he stood, the poor straw smoldered, smoked, and broke in half. And down went the straw and coal into the water. Safe on shore, the bean watched sadly and said, A straw and coal will never mix, no matter how they try, like fire and ice, or cats and mice, or hungry folks and I. That's rather funny, he thought, and laughed. Hungry folks and I. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, he laughed so hard that he split his sides. But luckily, at that very moment, a tailor happened to be passing by. And he ran over just in time and sewed the bean back together again. But in his haste, he used black thread. And to this day, all beans have black seams down their sides. Mm -hmm.